The events of December 7, 1941 scarred our nation's conscience forever. For the first time in over a century, a foreign nation attacked our home soil. We reacted with fear and began one of the largest forced human migrations in human history. A young Japanese American was living in Hawaii at the time of the relocation. Um, the only one that got uh, displa uh, uh, you know, displaced was my dad. But they sent him to uh, Santa Fe and it was like a prisoner of war camp. They called it an internment camp, but uh, he wasn't accused of anything. He didn't do anything. He never went back to Japan. Despite the discrimination Japanese Americans faced, Rocky decided to get involved with the war effort. And then when the call came for volunteers to form this 442nd Regimental Combat Team, I felt that if I volunteered and proved to them that I was a good American soldier, they would send my dad home. But it never happened. He joined the newly formed 442nd Infantry Unit for persons of Japanese descent, which later became the most decorated military unit in U.S. history. For his heroic acts, Matayoshi was awarded the Distinguished Service Cross. The first one, they said, never happened. Oh. That's the army for you. Okay, so they're saying it never happened. They, they, uh, I guess they authenticated. So this is, uh, they're reviewing it, and uh, because they can't find, they said, no general order, no medal. They couldn't find a general order. In 1973, there was a fire at the National Records Facility, which destroyed any evidence of his acts or award. Now, the Army is making up for lost time and making efforts to recognize the acts that were done by Japanese Americans in World War II. Of course, what we did in the service opened the doors for everybody, not only the Japanese, but everybody. Yes, sir. You know, white, black, blue, anybody. Reporting from the 416th Theater Engineer Command, I'm Army Sergeant Jeremiah Richardson. <laughs>